welcome back to my channel i am excited to be shooting today because i haven't posted a video in a very long time let's blame it on the road now <laughs> okay um so today we are going to be doing a little bit of chit chat i came to you barefaced you're going to see me put on my mask but while we do that i will answer a question that i got off of instagram so i said ask me a money related question and um a lady esther chile said what business would someone start with a small amount let's say 500 kwacha okay so i'm multitasking here i have a shoot that i have to do after um but yeah i thought to answer the question i could share a little bit about how i started some of my many many businesses okay i have tried a lot of things with minimum capital all right so my first maybe like significant or maybe would you say um noteworthy business was called urban chic um i should have started urban chic around 2011 when i was still like final year of university and um it started out as a blog I used to blog for MTV, MTV Staying Alive, and so I started a blog then called The Sizzle Cafe. Yeah, please, those names. I don't even know how I picked that name. But I literally did like a little survey amongst my university friends then when we were in India. And I asked them, do you like the name? And they all said, yes, yes, yes. I don't know if they were just being nice or if they really liked the name, but I found out that my audience couldn't pronounce the sizzle cafe can you believe it like these people would follow and they can't even pronounce the name of the the business um so anyway that's how my business started it started out as a blog called the sizzle cafe i built a relatively good following back then and then what i'm doing is i'm just mixing my concealers because of the weather and because of corona i haven't been going out a lot so i've been like my skin has like i've gone a little bit lighter anyway let me put it that way so what i do is i mix a very light shade of concealer and then a dark one and then you know i use that so back to my story i started le sizzle cafe i built a following uh, it was mostly centered around lifestyle and fashion um but part of the thing that happened in india is because of the culture and the different cultures there were nigerians and water and water um head wraps became how i used to show my african culture my Z my zambian culture so i would use the local scarves there um to i would tie the local scarves as head wraps Okay, I'm trying to concentrate. Eyebrows a little bit tricky. Okay. I like to keep my makeup as natural as possible because I hate looking like I'm getting married. You know that wedding makeup that people do? So, anyway, it started um, the Sizzle Cafe, it evolved, I ran it from like 2011 till around 2014, I think. And then I decided to rebrand because in between there, a lot of people would call me to go to their kitchen parties and do like head wraps and things. Like, oh, can you come and tie my head wrap the way you tied gele and everything? So then, I... I would go like i would spend my own transport spend my own money to go to kamwala and buy chitenges for people and do their head wraps and everything so then i decided to start charging like a very small amount so literally when i started the sizzle cafe and then i started doing head wraps i would do it for free and then i started charging a small amount 45 kwacha to do people's head wraps okay um and my name started getting known i would get more and more people like in one weekend i would get like three people trying to do you know especially for kitchen parties and bridal showers and things so 
what then I did is I decided to do a rebrand. So I literally shut down the Sizzle Cafe and I started doing, I did a rebrand like for two months. I did strategy, I did my Instagram page, I did Facebook page and everything. This is a concealer, dust lining, um, it's a primer, sorry, not a concealer. Mm. So I did a rebrand and then come... Come January of 2015, I launched Urban Chic. That's what I called it because I thought that it was like the correct name. I was urban, I was chic, and you know, um, head wraps are urban and all that. So that's how I started my business. So I had no capital when I started this business. It was literally just okay, maybe scratch it. It was internet bundles. So maybe my capital was maybe 150 a month for internet bundles back then and yeah we did the things we started urban chic but the thing with business is it was a lot of word of mouth so here's my answer to your question miss chile is with um a 500 kwacha i think you can start a passion project okay um if you know my friend muaba She's always talking about turning your passion into profit. Like, go and check out some of her feeds. Go and check out some of her, you know, what she's written about how you can turn your profits into passion. It's really, really helpful. But, so, Urban Chic for me was a passion project. I literally started with zero. I think my first serious gig then, I probably... Um, so I'm using, this is MAC, it's NW50, I'm an NW43, but I'm using NW50 because it's darker, just to give me some, you know, some shadows in my, in my face. You'll see how I'll use it for the rest of my face as well. So I started it, no money, 100 kwacha for internet bundles, or let's say 150 for internet bundles and a passion and then you build yourself and people start talking about you and asking you to do things for them i have lost my eyeshadow and then after you build a reputation after or shall i say after i built a little bit of a reputation for myself um i got my first gig um was it sarah Anyway, one of my friends was getting married and she had 14 kitchen party committee members and they all wanted head wraps at 45 kwacha. Okay, so that was my best first big investment of capital. I had to go to Kamwala. I used 300 kwacha. I bought like three six meter chitenges and out of those, I got like 12 pieces of head wraps. And um, when I got those head wraps, that was a capital injection, right? So those head wraps I got and I did so 45 times 14. Okay, I don't know what that is. I gave them some um, ridiculous amount of discount. And so out of the 300 kwacha that I spent on the head wraps that day, I made 900 kwacha from doing 45 kwacha worth of head wraps. And then what I did is I jazzed up everyone on that lineup okay i asked everybody to come back and like take i took pictures of everybody i asked them to send me pictures and then that is then what i used to now market what i was doing like the rest of it um i used a lot of those pictures in um facebook a lot of facebook and instagram again i'm trying to mix some of my foundation Okay, cool. And then, then I started getting bookings. I think that was really good for me. I, I'm pretty sure I put Sarah Kalseni's, um, Sarah Kalseni's kitchen party. I really got a lot of those. Sarah, if you're watching this, fam, your business literally was the, the turning point of my... Sarah. 
Sarah, if you're watching this, your business was the turning point of my business. That booking that you did, because I then started getting a lot of um, referrals from there. A lot of people who attended the kitchen party then started booking me. Even before I left, I had like appointments from there, right? And literally, that's my 500 kwacha or less business story. So, if you're thinking about starting a business and you don't have a lot of capital, I would say don't think about something that is capital heavy. Think about the things that come natural to you. Think about the things that people are always asking you to do for them for free. Do they come to you to edit documents? Are they always asking you to... Um, I keep losing things. Are they ask and do they keep asking you to like, oh, can you edit my document? Can you come style me? Or can you help me do deco? Then you know that that is a gift that you have and you can start with that. And then after you do that, then you can raise a little bit of capital and start then like building in. So like with Urban Chic, I literally used to use Chitenge from, from Kamwala. But then as I started getting more and more like sophisticated clientele, they would want Nigerian gele and what, 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 what. I would then get like a commitment fee from them, really. Right? So I would get like a commitment fee from them and be like, okay, fam, you want gele? Gele is 150 kwacha. And Shafiq, so give me 150 kwacha, I will go and buy it for you and I'll bring you the receipt and then I'll just charge for styling. One of the other things that I learned as well is that my prices were too low. So 45 kwacha was too low of an amount for me to actually make some sort of significant um, profit and impact from what I was doing. Um, pardon the voices in the back, I am a mommy. And I have a little human being somewhere who likes to talk. So you will hear him. I don't normally do this when I am like doing my everyday makeup. But like I said, we're shooting something. So I'm going to go a little bit extra. and do my own version of baking. So I met somebody who told me that my prices were too low. So that's how I charged, I started, um, I increased my amount from 45 kwacha to 150 kwacha per, for styling only. And I thought I would lose clients, but really my caliber of clients finished. One of um, a changed, sorry, not finished. My caliber of clients changed. So one of the 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 thing I used to have with the forty five quarter clients is they would be difficult. One person will tell you I want this, then they'll see something else from somebody, then they'll they'll ask you to change and change and change. So I had like really difficult clients, but when I So, but when I um, when I amped my price to a higher amount, literally, um, the caliber of clients also changed. Like, I'll get people who were serious. They already knew what they wanted. So, I wouldn't have to do the same head wrap like two or three times. I would just go in, tie the head wrap, five minutes, I'm done, I get paid, and I go. Okay, and then because I had a little bit more money now, I'd buy like more expensive gele. I realized it was cheaper for me to order gele from like Nigeria and Ghana. So I'd send my friends out their money and they would send me like, 
loads and loads of gele and then i'll use it that way and then my business actually also evolved because then i would sell even just the gele like somebody would be like oh 150 styling is too much i just want the fabric so i would sell the fabric separately like 450 for like lace gele and then they go and do whatever they wanted but to be honest most people actually appreciated the fact that they could get gele from me and i would style it for them so if that is my business story literally like zero capital if you ask me because the internet bundles already i already was using internet anyway whether or not i was doing the business so it really did not make much of a difference as to whether i don't really consider it capital let me put it like that because i was already using internet and I was going to spend the 150 anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So Chile, think about your passion. Think about what you like doing. What you would, um, what people are always asking you for. And then literally just monetize that. As you go along, you'll find that your business will evolve. You will learn different things. You will also find little loopholes where you can charge for certain things. Like with Urban Chic, I would charge the 150 for styling. I would charge for the fabric. And then people would add up money for me to go to where they are. And yeah, then I would sell the gelée itself. Um, I learned how to cut, I learned how to sew so I could make the head wraps the way that I wanted. And basically, that's it. So, I'm going to end my story here. I'll finish doing my makeup and then I'll just show you some photos of how I look at the end. So that is my story. The mask is on. I hope you guys think I'm pretty. Give me a thumbs up if this is the sort of content that you want to see. Give me a... Let, Put a comment in there if there are topics that you want to chit chat about or if you have other ideas about how somebody can start a business with very little capital, as little as 500 kwacha, which is about $50, I think, approximately anyway, looking at our rates and everything. But yeah, thumbs me up. Click the notification button so you get notified every single time that I have a new video up. Until next time.